Gilbert Burns has been fearless since birth as he went from fighting deadly diseases to deadly competitors. His fearless story has made him into a fan favorite while earning him one of the most unique nicknames in MMA. That all the time. Oh, oh big, that hurt oh, bad. He hurt wants bad. that knockout though, that's what he, he was looking bad. for. But first, we need to see where Burns got his fighting spirit from. Number eight, Gilbert Burns Early Life. Now, Burns is regarded as one of the best fighters on the planet, and his parents are probably not too shocked by this fact, seeing that he has been fighting since he was six months old. Burns was born in Niteroi, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. He grew up with his older brother, Frederick, and younger brother, Herbert, who followed Gilbert's footsteps into MMA, but more on that in a little bit. His parents, Herbert Sr. and Tanya, raised three boys in Rio with the help of Herbert's upholstery business. The hard-working couple would continue to grow and learn together. In fact, Tanya earned her nursing license in 2020, while Herbert Sr. graduated law school not too long after that. I mean, talk about a power couple. So no wonder they didn't panic too much when they learned that their son Gilbert and later Herbert had pulmonary disease. Gilbert developed this disease when he was six months old and frequented hospitals throughout his childhood to receive adrenaline shots. However, this awful incident would end up being a blessing of sorts as it was the catalyst for the Burns family to learn about martial arts. Number seven, how he started training. In order to better deal with the pulmonary disease, Gilbert's doctor suggested that he take up sports. Initially, his parents looked at getting their son into swimming, but Burns already had his eyes set on learning karate. So at age seven, he began to train. And as the sport of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu grew in popularity in Rio, his father made a deal with a client to fix his car for free, and in return, the client would give his son BJJ lessons for three months. The two agreed and shook hands, and that is how Burns found himself in a gi and on his way to becoming one of the best Jiu-Jitsu practitioners in the world. Oh, that is gorgeous. It is all over! But before that point arrived, there were some money troubles. Burns only had three months of BJJ classes, after which he would have to quit because his parents couldn't afford the classes full time. So his dad told him to leave such a lasting impression on his coach that he had no choice but to offer him full time classes. And that is exactly what Burns did. Just one month into training, Burns began to compete in local tournaments, and after the three months were over, he had several tournaments under his belt. Part of the training incentive was that his dad bought him ice cream when he won so Burns was always eager to compete. His BJJ career continued because the gym he was training in ended up going bankrupt, so perhaps free lessons wasn't the smartest thing to give out, but luckily for Burns, his coach reached out to another gym on behalf of Burns and convinced Max Kamara on Rafael Barros to add Burns to their grappling roster. And as the saying goes, the rest was history, as Burns excelled in BJJ to the point where MMA fighters started training with him and bringing him to their camp as an instructor. And soon the MMA bug got Burns and he began his incredible fighting career. Number six, career achievements. Now when it comes to Burns' achievements, they have to be separated into two different categories. First, we have his BJJ accomplishments. He got his black belt from Barros and went on to win gold in the World Professional Jiu-Jitsu Cup two golds in the World Gi Jiu-Jitsu Championship, and another gold in the World Jiu-Jitsu Championship. He also netted two silvers in the World Jiu-Jitsu Championship and a bronze in ADCC World Championship. We wonder just how many ice creams he did get from his dad for all of those wins. And after a stellar run in the BJJ world, Burns turned his attention to MMA. To this date, he has never lost back-to-back -back in his 27-fight career. He has found success in both the welterweight and lightweight divisions, but it would be at 170 pounds that he found his real stride and earned himself a UFC title shot. He has been ranked as high as the number two best welterweight in the planet and has taken home five performance bonuses in the UFC. These bonuses complemented his fight checks pretty nicely. Number five, fight payouts. Burns made his UFC debut back in 2014. Things weren't too lucrative back then, so he only made 16,000 for his win over Andrea Stahl. However, in the very next fight, Burns earned 20,000, but also took home a $50,000 performance of the night bonus. He earned another $50,000 performance of the night bonus in his very next fight. For the next couple of years, Burns hovered around the 50 to $100,000 mark, as he would win a few, lose one, win a few, lose one. It wouldn't be until 2018 when he managed to build some good momentum and break the $100,000 streak, 
as he was netting $220,000 for his win over Damian Maya, which also included a $50,000 performance of the night bonus. For his title fight against Kamaru Usman, Burns took home $380,000 despite losing. He got another $380,000 check for his fight of the year performance against Hamza Chimaya. This also included a fight of the night bonus. While for one of his most recent performances, Burns earned $400,000 for his win over the BMF champ, Jorge Masvidal. Now, of course, all of these earnings go hand in hand with sponsorship deals, which can be more lucrative than the actual fight purses themselves. Number four, endorsements. In recent years, Burns' popularity has skyrocketed. MMA fans see him as this badass fighter who is willing to fight anyone, anytime. So naturally, as your popularity increases, brands are more hungry to work with you. And that has been the case for Burns. In the past, he has worked with brands like Garden of Life, Love Hemp, and RVCA. More recently, Burns is also one of the brand ambassadors for the gambling company Stake. He also has a deal with Monster Energy while keeping his relationships going with the clothing brand RVCA and adding Santa Bull to the list. So Burns hasn't been lacking in the sponsorship department at all, and this is partially due to his incredibly loyal fan base. Number three, social media presence. Now Burns stays in contact with his amazing fan base through Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. On Twitter, he has over 300,000 followers and his YouTube channel has amassed two and a half million views. While on Instagram, he has over a million followers and there you can see a ton of the behind the scene footage of Burns' training camp and of course, his reason behind training so hard, his lovely family. Burns married his long-term girlfriend Bruna in 2012 after the two met during jiu-jitsu training sessions. Bruna is a badass herself, as she won the Black Belt National Champ Awards in 2012. And together they have two sons, Pedro and Joshua. Burns makes it a point to bring his sons to training sessions to show them what hard work looks like, and hard work has been the theme of Burns' life and it even earned him his unique nickname, Durinho. Number two, origins behind his nickname. Standing at 5'10 with a 71 inch reach, Burns has spent a large part of his fighting career fighting guys that are bigger and stronger than him. This is why the nickname Durinho is so apt as it can be translated to Little Tough One. And Burns has been a little tough one from birth, essentially as he fought serious health conditions and then rose up the ranks of the BJJ world before dominating in MMA. So no matter the odds, Durinho shows up and competes and stays true to his nickname. Number 1. His Net Worth being a no-name fighter is a tough way to make a living in the fight world, and the thing is most fighters spend a large portion of their career as a no-name fighter. And Burns is no different. For the majority of his UFC run, Burns was trying to make a name for himself, and it is only recently that he's begun to cash some juicy checks. However, he has had several amazing sponsors along the way. Now we might not know the insights of those deals, but we can estimate that Burns' net worth is probably around the $3 million mark. And with his popularity as great as it's ever been, it's likely that Burns will add to it for at least a few more years. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell beside it so that you're notified the next time we upload a new video. And with that being said, you just watched us break down Gilbert Burns' fearless story and lifestyle. We'll see you next time.